Hi and welcome to part 31. In the last episode, we navigated through a swamp and we found a creepy house. And now we're going to talk to a creepy person who says, let's get started then. Camera shaky. It was a dark and stormy night many years ago. Lost, I arrived at this house and went inside. The lights would not turn on, so I fearfully looked around the house. Eventually, I made my way to the kitchen. There was no sign of anyone being there. I found the fridge, and when I opened it, a faint light leaked out. I could finally make out my surroundings. Then I saw the faint outline of a man huddling in the corner of a room. I tried to tell him that I was lost. I was hoping he'd let me stay until morning, but when I approached him, the man suddenly screamed, STAY BACK! I apologized and continued to plead my face. Please, can't you help me? I'm not talking to you, he shouted. I looked at the man in surprise. When I did this, the man asked me, Can't you see them? Behind you! A horde of faceless men! Slender men everywhere! Now then, since I told a wonderful story that will always haunt you forever. Just checking. Would you be so kind as to tip me? If you don't, you might see something really scary. You're charging us? Even a haunted house aren't free, you know. Would you like to give a tip? Yeah. No! Huh, is it over already? I wasn't really listening. Was that story you just told really true? Sigh. I guess it really was a scary house, in a way. Well, I know you wanted to go camping, and that was kind of like camping, I guess. People usually tell scary stories by a campfire, right? I've had enough of dark places and scary things. I'd rather rehearse my dances. I'll see you all later. That was lame! That was totally lame! <laughs> I'm going back in. I'm gonna tip him. I bet it's left unknown. The truth is best carried to the grave. Oh, I want to tip you. Where's the horde of faceless men? I feel ripped off. Najava! Horde of Goomies! No. Seriously, I was like, I was getting excited. I was thinking like, oh my goodness, yes, it's going to be like a haunted house. It's going to be ghost Pokemon and everything. It's going to be great. Dang it. Ooh. No. No. No, no, no. Go away, Quagsire. I want to avoid all Pokemon I've seen before while I'm recording button. Ooh, cool. Boost ghost type moves. Yeah, that's actually probably a very bad mistake. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's a card of mine. Okay. Don't die. Yay! Oh, curses. You're gonna start healing yourself now. That means you're gonna get harder to catch each time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ding! Yes! Awesome. Carnivine was caught! Yay, Greninja! It attracts prey with its sweet smelling saliva, then chomps down. It takes a whole day to eat prey. Really, if I find a person to re to give nicknames, I'm gonna rename I'm gonna rename Drifloon to Majora. Cause that's like perfect. Okay. I wanna find out who that creepy guy was I was talking about the eternal life thing. He was like really creepy. I wanna know what his deal is. Shot claw. Slashy. We can probably get about three more. Slashy. Dang it. I hate static. 
It is such a good it is such a good ability, but at the same time I hate it. Into the ground type. Congratulations, you already were the ground No Oh good, you're still alive. That could have been bad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh wow. Stunfisk was caught. Its skin is very hard, so it is unhurt even if stepped on by sumo wrestlers. It smiles when transmitting electricity. So does it like regularly get stomped on sumo wrestlers? Like they decide, okay guys, we're gonna test how tough this Pokemon is. There's only one way to do that. How sumo wrestlers. Max, what? You're fired. No! It was a brilliant theory. We're not gonna get a sumo wrestler over here, just so you can say that. Laverse City. Boing boing! Here comes TM for the What? What? Pokemon hit by Torment can't use the same moves two times in a row. What does the name Torment mean? Anyway, trying to figure out it out is driving me crazy. To torment is to uh, torture. I have a scintillated story for you, yes. Okay. That wasn't a story. My dad's older brother, that's my uncle, you know, lives in the Hoenn region. Okay. After Arbok used shed skin, I collected its discarded skin to make wallets. Cool. I like an Arbok wallet. Wait, clothes shop? No. Oh, wait, ooh, ooh. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Wait, that's a shower. Do, 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 do. It's mysterious. So the ability called Pick Slate somehow turns normal type moves into fairy type moves. Sorry to bother you, but I like little tiny things. Tiny Pokemon are the most interesting. I feel like Pokemon that have a height of 12 inches less. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon, and I think I have a Pokemon that that's small. So, just give me a second. I think. Uh, none of them are gonna show. They're not gonna show me their height. Weedle should do it. Do do. All right. See. Ow! Thank you. All right. Now let me heal my Pokemon and change outfits. Oh yeah, I am so fashionable. Wait, no, give me out. I'm done. Wait, ah, sorry. Give me a second. I am so pretty. Max, did you just honestly say you're so pretty on camera? Yes, I did. Cause it's true. I'm so stinking pretty. The building that's part of the biggest tree in town is Lavera's Pity Pokemon Gym. Actually, it's building right next to us. Right here. Do we have time? Ooh, ooh, ah. Uh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, I think we can do it. Alright, let's do it. Me and my new outfit are gonna go take on this gym. So, give me a second. I'm gonna go get Blaziken. Alright, I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. This is gonna be a longer episode because I'm so used to like, for you can't do gym battle stuff. You first gotta do this, this, and this first. So, whoa, hello. So that's why I'm a little surprised by the sudden, oh, by the way, you can do this now. 
I'm just gonna keep teleporting until I kill everyone. Since this place is pretty much a giant dollhouse, it's kinda creepy. Why there be no one to kill? Thank you. Don't we just look like a bunch of dolls in a dollhouse? That's really creepy! You're challenged by Furuso Girl Blossom. You're really freaky. Klefki? What is that thing? It's a... Uh, it's keys. Okay, it's a... It, it, it's keys. Luckily, I think you're a steel type. So this should probably eradicate you. I think you're also a fairy. So, good thing that worked out. Yay, Blaziken! Curlia? That's cool. Yeah, I'm sorry. Flump. Ah, oh, death. Yay, Lugario! Yay, Venusaur! Gramble? Oh dear. You're you're a fairy, you're a fairy, you're a fairy, you're a fairy. Uh t -t 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 -t. Let's see, let's just introduce a little bit of a um, Lucario. Yeah, yeah, goodbye! Rage. That does almost nothing. Fight, Mega Evolution, Poison Jab. Rip his head off. That's a really long intro for just gonna be one kill. And doink! Epic death. Yeah. You're no doll, you're a true Pokemon trainer. That's so creepy. Oh well, I'm just gonna keep teleporting around. Hello. It's a massive bed, complete with a canopy. Oh no, are you? Do you know what a certain type of move has no effect against our beloved fairy type Pokemon? Oh no. Oh no. You know my weakness. Slurpluff? Oh no, e ew, that thing's gross. Now a certain type of move is Gabite. Okay, Pokemon, Lucario, switch. Because if I don't switch out, he's gonna die. Draining Kiss? That, whoa! That's just messed up. Oh well, super duper poison jab again. Okay, good. If I hit, if I just keep hitting it, it speeds up. And death to you. Oh, death. Yay, goodbye. There are some type of moves that are very strong against fairy types, though. So is this a fairy type gem? Or is it, I thought this would be a ghost type gem. In that case, I probably should switch out Goodbye. Hmm. Well, hold on, I don't want to take you on yet. Okay, mental note. Okay. Do, 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 do. Are there any more trainers? Yeah, there's you. Alright, so get to her corner room. Alright, good. There's that one, and then there's the other one. But first, since everyone here is fairy type, I better switch out Lucar. Oops. I better switch out Goodbye. Or else he's gonna get slaughtered. I looked up to Valerie so much that I came here to learn from her. You're charged by Furusio Girl Linia. Yep, fairy type gem. What the? What is that thing? That thing is nasty. That's it. That's just gross looking. 
destroy it. And death. Oh, wow. That is very impressive that you lived. Use the tract? Because, like, no, I will not fall in. Nope, nope. Dang it. I fell in love. Wow, it's just like Romeo and Juliet. You're in love with me. You poisoned yourself. Well, I poisoned. You get what I mean. Lady Valerie, I need your help. I need your help. Okay, I came from this one. Alright, so I need to go here and say this one. No. Send me back. This one. No. Come on, I want to kill your last trainer. Because I'm sadistic. There we go. Hello. This Verusio girl has her clothing designed by the one and only Valerie. How do I look? Let's live up to Valerie's beautiful design by displaying an equally beautiful battle technique battle. Fashion. You're charged by Verusio girl Kelly. You're kind of freaky looking, actually. Feel the power of the aura. Not fear him. Feel. Feel the power of the aura. Blammy. And Mega Ball. Oh, death. No guilt. Yay, Drip Blim. Azumarill. Oh, yeah, you turned into a fairy. That's really cool. You're to walk. I still don't feel bad. Yay, Lucario. Look at that. Look at that madness. Yay, Blaziken. So strong. So beautiful. Yeah, you know that moment where I totally stabbed your Pokemon? That was beautiful. Nope. Did you... Max, what are you doing? I don't know. Did you... No. Okay, sorry. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I believe it was over here. And then over here. And then this one, I believe. Wait, no, no, no. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Is anyone in here? Just checking. Okay, hey, this one. Do, 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 do. I didn't kill everyone, right? I think I did. Do, 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 do. Aha! Prepare to die, odd lady. Whoa, what's with the. That's kinda. Oh, if it isn't a young trainer. So you float all the way through my gym, fluttering down to me on a fortunate wind. Then I suppose you have earned yourself the right to a battle as a reward for your efforts. I'm Valerie, who leads a fairy type gym. I hope your visit will prove entertaining to you. The elusive fairy types may appear frail as a breeze and dark as a blue, but they are strong. You and your little weird wig a ding thing. Whoa! It's even freakier. Wow, those are like. Those are some of the scariest eyes ever. Wait, Mawile? Oh dear, you're steel type. But really, those are freaky, freaky eyes. Okay, time to mega evolve this party. Blah. This should be really cool. Awesomeness. Eat it. Mr. Mine? 
You're a fairy now, too? You gross little man. Death. I knew there was a reason I didn't like Mr. Mime. Yay, Greninja! Sylveon! Oh, you're the new Eevee Evolution! That's really cool! I'm terribly sorry about what I'm about to do to your face! Wow, you lived! Ouch! Whoa! That was actually pretty powerful. You meanie! Draw. I'm gonna kill you. Draw. There we go. You're defeat leader Valerie. Those are some of the freakiest eyes ever. I hope the sun is shining tomorrow. That'd be a reason enough to smile. Well, that's a good way to see light, but those are freaky eyes. Yes, that was a fine battle. How do you grab anything with your hands? I shall reward you with this great victory. I shall reward you for this great victory. This is the fairy badge. It is yours now. This beauty is captivated, is it not? I do forgive me. I was so captivated. I forgot for a moment that it is yours. I wouldn't say captivated, but that is pretty cool looking. The fairy, type, the fairy badge will endear any Pokemon to level 82. Yes, even those Pokemon that you may receive from others will obey you. I also wish to award you this TM. Please consider a personal gift from me, not simply the winnings of a battle. Dazzling gleam. Sparkle gleam and glow. I can't seem to recall any longer which move is contained in that TM. I hope you might forgive me. My designs are said to be rather mystifying. Do you agree with that? I've always wanted to be a Pokemon, you see. That desire, that desire is my inspiration why I tried to achieve my designing. And yet, the only time I feel I'm truly one of Pokemon is when we are embroiled in desperate battle. I wonder why that is. Hmm, could it be? Never mind, it is nothing, kind trainer. Well, thank you, wig lady. Dazzling Gleam. The user, the user damages opposing Pokemon by making a powerful flash. And I have no Pokemon that can learn that move. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, where to next? I have no idea. Hi, Max! Hey, that's a fairy badge. How do you see it? It's so cute and sparkly. You know what? We're going to go tour the Pokeball Factory. Come with us. I'm interested in Pokeballs because they're used to catch Pokemon. To put it another way, I'm utterly fascinated by them. To put it another way, I stink and love them. Alright, we got a little time, so I'll be right back. Alright, I think we should actually explore a little bit. I just first want to see what's in this house. Heya, do you still travel with the Pokemon our professor gave you? Battle combo move. What? Oh, no, not Water Pledge. No. Yeah. It's a cool concept, but I don't like it. Finding dark and bug type moves are not very effective. Uh, drink type moves are not effective at all. Valcom moves have different effects depending on the combination of fire, grass, and water. Th things are a great power in double and triple battles. It's a really cool concept, and I bet if you could like get it working, it's awesome. But it, I just, no, just no. Hello, creepy lady. What's this, I see? Perhaps the trainer has accomplished you can get the most out of this. Oh my goodness! Ah! Ah! Hunter's what? I'm all on my own, so I don't have anyone to link to. I use a GTS to wonder trade. Hunter to Gengar! Greetings, greetings. As you can see, I'm the head of the local chapter of the Pokemon Fan Club here in the Kalos region. It's my part due to a great effort representing Pokemon that are clearly making an effort. Uh. Okay. Making an effort. That doesn't even make any sense. Eh, forget it. Ribbons are only really good for contests. Hold on. Okay. That's weird. Yeah, Gengar, right? That's awesome. Can I have a Garchomp bite? 
Every gym the badge tells the story of a hard won victory against a worthy opponent. I can look at a badge and tell you which Pokemon were with you and you won it. And that's cool. They say that in the ancient days, man and Pokemon were the same. That's even now there's even that old story where a Froakie turned to a human, right? Oh, I get it. I get it, that's clever. Alright, I think we're almost done here. Pokeballs to the Pokeball Factory are sent to Pokemon all over the Kalos region. Well, that's very cool. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a tea shop. I love big things. Uh, I don't know if I have any Pokemon bigger than that. Could it be because we play together every day? That's called marketing. <coughs> Sorry about that. Pokeball Factory. Alright, so in the next episode, let's head to the Pokeball Factory and see what's going on there. So, see you then.